What's up YouTube, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be discussing how you can add subtitles or text to your videos. Super quick, super easy in DaVinci Resolve in less than five minutes. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so as you can see, we're here in DaVinci Resolve. I've already got my clip in TikTok format. If you don't know how to make this in TikTok format or Facebook Reels, YouTube shorts, whatever you're going to be posting on. Um, check out the video in the description that does show you how to create a TikTok in less than five minutes. You guys blew that video up, man. So I really appreciate the love on that. Um, again, I'll put it in the description just to make sure that you guys can check that out if you haven't already. I'm going to show you guys how to add subtitles or just general text. In this case, it'll be subtitles. Just show you guys what the process looks like. Just go ahead and get through the video real quick. Should be like right around here. Absolutely fucking destroyed, bro. Okay. All right, so I want to put in the subtitles absolutely effing destroy, right? So we're just going to find where I say absolutely. And I'm going to start there. So, absolutely. all right, right there, roughly. Back it up just a tad. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the text. So you're going to come over here to effects, and then you're going to go to titles. And I just use the basic title one because it doesn't come pre, -pro uh, pre -pro I don't know if programmed is the right word, but it doesn't come with anything on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by clicking on the box that shows the text here. And as you can see up in the top right hand corner, it's where you can start making all your changes. So I'm going to type in absolutely. If I could spell, that'd be sick. All right. Absolutely. Okay. So I've got my text in there. I know what it says. You can also download your own custom fonts here. So just go to Google, download whatever fonts you like, um, and then you'll just upload them. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on how to upload the fonts. It's not super difficult, but... Um, I don't have any in this one because this is a, a new version of DaVinci on a different PC. So I don't have any custom fonts. So we're just going to go to impact. It's probably the best uh, the best one in here without adding in additional fonts. Impact. All right. <clears throat> so I've got absolutely in here. And so you can see it should. Right when it gets to that. Absolutely. Perfect. So I've got absolutely. Now I want to go ahead and customize this, right? So if you want to add a stroke, you could do that. So we're going to go here to stroke and then I'm going to change the size up just a little bit. Eight looks good. So as you can see, it's got that black background on the font Now you can change the color of the stroke. I'm going to change that to like a bright pink so you can come in here and select that pink and then press OK. And I like that. Now you can change the color of the font here as well. You just click on go all the way up and then you'll see all your uh, font options. Um, I actually like that color, so I'm going to go here now. I'm going to position it. So you can do it a couple of ways. You could type in numbers here, so you're on your X and Y axis. I want to have it come down in this area here. So I'm going to scroll the Y axis to the left, and it'll start bringing that down. Perfect. And that's actually a good size. If you want to change the size of the font, again, you could do that up in here. So right now it's on 96. You could drag this right to the left or the right. Left is smaller. Right is larger. This is on like 94. Yep, that looks good. All right, so I've got my first word in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this. So I'm gonna press Alt and then I'm gonna drag this up and then I'm going to find the next word. All right, so it's roughly right there. Back that up just a tad. And if you zoom in a little bit, it lets you be a little bit more specific exactly where you want it. All right, so it's gonna be like right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna change it to the next word. Now make sure you click the one that you've dragged above, right? Because this is gonna be absolutely, this one's gonna be that bad word. <laughs> All right. So now, as you can see, it's going to move to that next word. And what you want to do is I'm going to scroll this back out. And depending on how you want to do this, I'm going to end this. So it's just going to go to the next word, right? Absolutely fucking destroyed. All right. Now I'm going to put in destroyed. So I'm going to drag this down tad here. Just give me some room. And you can drag all these layers. So that way you have more room in your, uh, you know, this area here. So I'm just going to drag this down and I'm going to drag this one down. So now I'm going to press alt on the next one, alt, and then drag that up. And then I'm going to do the same process. Okay. So I need to find destroy. It's going to be like right there actually. So I'm going to press alt and I'm going to drag this one up now and I'm going to move it to where my cursor is. All right. And then I'm going to change this one now. So make sure to click the one that you want to change and I'm going to put destroyed. Okay. Now this should be nice and smooth here. Absolutely fucking destroyed, bro. Boom. There you go. And I actually had already duplicated this layer. That's fine. So as you can see, Absolutely fucking destroyed, bro. there's your subtitles. So again, it's super easy. You obviously don't have to use this for subtitles. You use this for adding general text. 
you can get super creative there's a lot more you could do in here but i just wanted to make a simplistic tutorial on exactly how to add subtitles or text to your videos and that's pretty much the process um so anyways if you guys like the video uh make sure to like the video as nick Merckx always says uh comment let me know what your thoughts are if you guys have any other ideas on what you want to learn about davinci resolve let me know i'll be happy to make more tutorials um, i just do these quick ones um just because there's a lot of videos that are super lengthy you guys have mentioned that in the comments so want to do some quick you know if you're just trying to do some basic stuff within davinci resolve you absolutely can um so yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video